Okay, I'm finishing year 33 and I'm going to show you how to take out a box formation by a Greek faction. I'm going against B Dog. He's playing his Macedonia. He has eight units of companion cavalry, phalanx, and archers. He has his archers in a box formation, which would pretty much take out my entire army if he was the Greek city states, but he's the weaker Macedonia. I have 10 units of Urban Cohort, 5 units of Triaria, and 5 Praetorian Cavalry. As you can see, he moves his cavalry to the right flank to meet my cavalry, which is my left flank, his right. So I have my men in the Tetsudo formation. They are in, in route to trees. This is meant to deploy archer fire by the archers inside of the box formation. Alright, you see his man going over to meet my cavalry. I group my cavalry together. This makes it like an overwhelming wave of horses charging at you. This decreases uh, units morale, which can wrap the enemy. He splits up his cavalry into two groups. Now his cavalry is gone, he leaves his box wide open for attack without any assistance from his cavalry. The main thing you want to realize with Greek cavalry, they are very lightly armored. This is really bad when they're going against spearmen or other cavalry. They're swift, but they're only used for taking out running, routing units. They're not really for actual hand-to-hand, -hand, deep into a combat. As you can see, I have my men in that grouping, and I decide to send some groups over there. You can see, I start charging in my units. These are all Triarii and Urban Cohort. And they don't really like Triarii since they're Spearmen. As you can see, the horses are pretty much going down. They're routing already. Cavalry's a uh, safe distance. I want to preserve them as much as possible. You will need this for your tackling on the box. And here we go. You can see my cavalry charge their cavalry. So cavalry sucks. It's going to be pretty much easy for me. I overwhelm them on both sides, so they're flanked. As you can see, my Triarii just added another unit of cavalry. As did mine. As my cavalry has routed one of their cavalry. Now, since there's a large number of cavalry that are routed, they might turn around and be able to fight again. But that won't be for quite a while. Now this is the next part that is very crucial to remember when you take out a box formation. You need a lot of horses. You need their charging momentum and speed coming down off of a kind of a slope. I have a cord are already there. As you can see it's a large river of horses that are coming at incredibly 
fast speeds. And here you go, you want to attack a corner. That's the weakest part in a box formation. You want to try to pick your men through quickly and effectively so you can flank them, get behind them, and separate them from the rest of their army. Now I pretty much broke the entire formation. He moves up his back line to combat me as well as his right flank. To the right side of his box he moves them to try to fight my cavalry. Now I move my infantry to fight. A few horses are dead. Well, a lot of horses are dead, but they pretty much have to be sacrificed so they can get through and effectively win the battle. Now, phalanx are spikes. They stab, and Macedonia just happens to have really long spikes. But to good Roman armor and steel, they don't match. So now you can see a good portion of their army is pretty much gone. Our urban cohort are fighting the black men. I'm not really sure what their names are. As you can see, my cap is going against some black men. But it's really no contest because our armor is better. We're more elite. See, they're routing, and I charge my cavalry in to get the rest of them to the ground. Again, when you have overwhelming numbers of cavalry, it breaks down the morale of a unit. Great gods be praised! The enemy general is killed! The general has died, which is a major strike to the morale. And you need more than just tactics to win a battle. I have reserves back there, so just in case I was losing this battle, I could bring it forward. Very well organized, but if you use common sense and statistics and good tactics, you can do the impossible. Normally, my horses would just melt or just get phalanx, but I didn't. As you can see, they're running away. This battle will take a while for about 10 minutes. Full length, but I started closer to the action and I cut it short because it would just go way too long. But you pretty much get the whole scenario pretty much one, so yeah.